This is Final Fantasy XII. If you recall from my other videos, Vaughn was level 99, pretty much in every single one of them. Well, uh, this case, in this case, they started a new game because I have one thing in mind. Level 99. Hmm. Oh? Uh, no party. That's, uh, rather odd. Well, it's actually for a good reason. Where am I at in the story? If the bottom gives any hint, old Dallin and Lowtown must know a way into the palace. Yeah, it's as early as you can possibly get for level 99. Oh well, but this video is about us to explain to you what I've been up to lately anyway, but for the most part, ignore the wolves unless they're along the way, because they're practically worthless. You notice the big damage I'm doing, and how puny experience-wise they are? won't help you. And you might be noticing that I'm ignoring items. All they do is actually slow you down. Save 10 seconds and you're accelerating it. Oh, and by the way, fighting these things in the story right now would be suicide. Certain game over. But not for me. It seems like I'm running, but I'm actually not. It's to prevent attacks from the enemy, so I can speed the process up more, and also get ready for the next one real soon. Short notice, like that. I hate it when they parry like that. It just means they dodge the attack. Okay. Hand the camera too much. And just to give you an idea, that's not much. And yes, cure is the only thing I have. It's because no shop carries anything better than cure. What was that glass breaking sound? That's because I lost a mischarge. Notice the MP. I'm casting cure to restore lost HP from that. Very powerful cure spell. And it's only gonna get even more powerful. So what am I doing now? Well, I'm respawning the enemies. To do that, you simply get two zones away. It don't make a difference where you go as long as you're two zones away from that one. This just happens to be the shortest route. You don't have to do anything in there. Although that area, that area contains very weak enemies. Story-wise, the enemies in here are very powerful, although they are manageable. But, right now, as you can probably tell, they are practically effortless. So, everything's back. It's along the way, so get rid of it. Yeah. I actually have a video where these Erstrix is watching it. A battle with the uh, Noma Entite. They actually watch a battle, casting Protect when it expires, of course. And then when it's defeated, it runs. Why don't I fight that thing now? Well, it's one, it's way too dangerous because they don't have any effective way to heal. So you might be thinking, okay, so how did I get this bow? Well, what enemy do you suppose I'm fighting? That's a good hint. This thing actually drops that. Yeah. It's a fairly rare drop, though, but it drops it. That's its most common thing. Strix. Oh. It's a sleep near thing, of course. So how did I get this bow if the only thing I have available then are spells? Get this! I've actually had the bow since, I think, level 38. How did I get it? Quickenings! The actual first time I've actually ever used them. I was actually trying them out, just seeing what the, how effective they were, and I was surprised just how much damage they do. 
five figure damage. That is what caught me. That's what really grabbed my attention. Five figure damage, yep. That's where most of my MP is often missing late recently. It's cheap to restore anyway. So, here we go with another round. In the way, gotta get rid of it. It's just a little bit out of the way, so it can, it'll actually help. It kind of serves as a bonus. Usually I use these two. I don't like pyroclasm because I can't get the big chains too easy. This is my favorite effect. by the start. If it's red or orange like that, then it's in for now. Okay! <laughs> 16,000. It's not my record. It's not quite the most. Originally, this game held the record for the most damage I've ever seen. And that record currently now stands at 35,000, I think. But previously, it was actually from using a rise. I noticed you obtain a burning bow. Hmm, that enemy just dropped yet another one. I probably got a whole chunk load of them. I just cast care along the way since there's nothing to fight. So basically, that's what I've been up to lately. I think I've seen Arc Blast once as uh, one of those finales. But just to give you an idea on how much experience I got left, and at this particular level, it takes about one hour to gain a level. I'm after 99. 